Sun is learning some true lessons when it comes to a foundation. We have a Hierophant energy as well as the Two of Cups, yet the Two of Cups is in the reverse. We have a Hang Woman energy here in this deck, as well as the Judgment card. So here, it's letting me know that there is no give and take when it comes to a communication or some type of connection, something that you have chosen to surrender or let go due to sacrifice. Sacrifice is coming from the hang woman energy. We also have a lack of respect that causes a foundation to crumble. I feel this awakening to this situation has caused you to change, let go, surrender. You're rethinking something when it comes to something that has now come to wholeness, completion. You're cre creating a new path here with the World card. We also have the Wheel of Fortune right under it and the Emperor card. Well, I'm okay. We have the Emperor card and reverse the Five of Cups. Mm. Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. So with this energy, I feel like someone is trying to reconnect with you because without a shadow of a doubt, this energy is thinking of you. But during this energy, thinking of you, you're going through an awakening, transition, change. You're bringing something to wholeness, completion, through creating or maintaining a new path. For many of you here with the Wheel of Fortune energy, there's a new cycle, a turning point coming your way. And during this turning point, someone is thinking about you in the worst way. Emperor energy in the reverse. This is someone who is half of who they should be. This is someone who is stuck on the fact that they missed an opportunity with you because they couldn't change. They couldn't find a new way. Mm. Especially when it comes to their weaknesses and temptations. We also have the Six of Cups here with the nostalgic energy of someone re reminiscing about you. This is someone who is living in their imagination, but also reminiscing. But I feel it's not all good. It's not all good thoughts when it comes to someone who is going through a rebirth, an ego death. This is someone who is going through tension and challenges due to fictional ways of being or thinking. Mm. Someone is going through some serious heat. Wow, Ten of Wands energy. Yeah, someone is going through a heavy burden. Since something is not closed or there's no resolve when it comes to a situation that you had to let go to, due to sacrifice. I feel things had to slow down when it comes to collaborating with this energy. I feel their energy is kind of all over the place. But I also feel it's due to their lack of effort. Hmm. Someone definitely has a lack of effort and this is why they're coming out as half of who they should be in a situation. There's a lot of regret but they're also re avoiding it. Avoiding this regret because it just might be too much to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, we have the lowest card had on not it in the right position but I feel like there's no give and take when it comes to someone who was supposed to be a twin flame the yin to your gang but this is someone who broke the routine broke the foundation they made a different choice here with the two of pentacles energy we also have a page of wands as well as the nine of wands here with the nine of wands I see you standing your ground you're standing your ground in a very intense situation where there's conflict, a battle of the wits, because someone's being selfish. I feel while you're standing your ground, someone is standing in their ego, being materialistic and codependent on their addictions and weak tendencies. Wow. Someone is stuck in their ego when it comes to a separation, some type of confusion. Someone is definitely having a lot of migraines due to this situation where they're in transition. This is someone who is wanting to trust the process. Mm. Many of you are doing so while this is someone who is still trying to figure out why you were able to cut the ties. As it seems, this energy has made a lot of investments in you being attached to them. This is someone who is thinking heavily about you here in Nine of Wands energy. This is someone who is pondering but very stressed out. As it seems, their fears and thoughts keep them awake at night. 
vibe of Swords Energy. This is someone who is up late at night thinking about their regrets, but they're also very defensive about it here with the vibe of Swords Energy. Someone knows that they broke your heart, but this is someone who is still not thinking positively or thinking from a logical space when it comes to family protection, commitment. This is also domestic energy here. Please take it how it resonates, but this is someone who is still wearing a mask. Still being sneaky and deceptive, pretending not to care, but this energy is lurking, wanting to reach a milestone with you. Three of Wands. Wow. This is someone who is wanting to reach a milestone with you, but there's a lot of unexpected changes and transitions that has left this energy in a space where they're still not seeing something for what it is. Eight of Swords. This is someone who is still trapped, holding back, yet still holding a grudge or very possessive when it comes to you. This energy is breathing fire. This is someone who is yet to change, be themselves, still stuck in some type of loop, still stuck in some type of space where they're not being who they should be. They're not grasping any sort of reality. Wow. Nine of Cups in reverse. This is someone who is still not setting their intentions in the right way. Hmm. And this is why something is still not moving. The chariot is coming out in the reverse, letting me know this energy is still not overcoming challenges. And this is why they can't move forward. This is someone who sits in a space of regret, but they won't tell you that. This is someone who even misses you, but they won't tell you that either. Because they're still trying to prove a point that is clearly pointless. Hoping you reach out, but many of you have just moved on. Some of you could have this person in your prayers or don't even think of them at all, but many of you are no longer wanting to give in to the sacrifice. And in doing so, you have caused this to become their burden and not yours. This is never a burden that you were supposed to carry. Last card, Two of Pentacles, you made a choice. Many of you made a choice that um, they couldn't make. Two of Pentacles is letting me know this energy is going through an internal struggle. Not realizing them, not seeing a truth is the right is the reason why something has become a heavy burden. Let's get some more energy here. Their struggle due to a lack of responsibility. This is someone who is struggling due to their duties and they're struggling due to the lack of closure. I feel this is someone who is still seeing you as a kindred spirit. Hmm someone they should be close to, but I feel this is someone who has a lot of work to do. I feel in so many ways this is someone who is sitting in regret due to their choices when it comes to you, as this energy is wishing now money and sex wasn't their main foundation or their main motivator, because in so many ways they're starting to see they owe you so much more than they actually gave. But as I said before, they're just not admitting it or they're just not ready to do so. But I feel in so many ways they're still dealing with a sense of regret. They're not wanting to admit it. They're not wanting to acknowledge it. But it's there. And in so many ways, it's another reason they pushed you away. But I feel as their reality starts to set in and things are going to start looking a little ugly to them. Because sometimes the truth... It's just too hard to swallow. But I feel as long as this energy has their head in the sands, they're going to continue to see things fall apart. Nothing good can come out of the choices that they made in deep down. This energy knows it. They sit in the source of energy of doubt and regret all the time. Yet they have yet to truly make a choice, to make a move on what they already know is real and true. Let's get some more energy here from this thing, Holy Spirit. This is someone who knows things are falling apart, but this is someone who is completely stubborn to the fact that they are in between worlds and stuck in these burdens due to their choices. This is someone who is in between worlds on their choices, the things they have done, the choices they have made, and the things they have yet to overcome, but I feel something is about to come their way to help them understand a truth that should have already been made. 
I feel this is someone who should have made a choice, but due to their inner struggles, this is someone who missed the opportunity to evolve because of their fear. Hmm. Due to their fears, this is someone who just couldn't get it right. This is someone who just couldn't change. Now someone sits in fear because of their lies. Someone feels like you know they were being fake when they hurt you. But I feel this is someone who hurt you through betrayal. This is someone from the past who now feels you just gave up on the connection. All because of what they couldn't bring to the table. All because they thought this was just a temporary break. So they gave you nothing solid to work with. All because they thought that you were going to make a move first. This energy thought that you would make a move first, so they let something be. And for some of you, they continue to be reckless. They continue to lie. They continue to lie and be fake, hiding their head in the grass, betraying you, knowing that they were hurting you. This is someone who knows they hurt you, and now they're hoping that you're not giving up on them. When I feel you're turned off. You're turned off by the lies and the fact that they just can't be honest. Not just with you, but even with themselves. Hmm. This is someone who has a guarded heart and due to their guarded energy, you feel like they're poisonous or they just can't be trusted. All because of their addictions and their false ways. Someone just can't tell the truth or give a confession. But I feel something could be coming soon. Something could be coming soon when it comes to their energy. But I feel for many of you, you're not looking forward to it. For those of you who are possibly looking forward to this energy's return, you're hoping that there's some change. But in so many ways, this energy from the past, they're still coming out as fake. This is someone who is burdened by the separation or burdened by the fact that you have let go, no longer giving in to sacrifices or making sacrifices when it comes to them. Any of you have made a choice? And for some of you, you could be in the process of rethinking things. Rethinking things to find your peace because in so many ways, this energy just keeps showing up fake, phony causing many of you to sabotage with someone who has only brought you pain. Final energy here from this deck. Poisonous. Turned off. Because they can't be honest, this energy's love is poisonous to you. And even though they don't want you to give up, many of you are just tired of trying and making that first step when this energy really doesn't give enough. I feel many of you are turned off by the fact that this energy is dishonest or just living in some type of false or fake fantasy when it comes to being real with life. This is someone who is almost poisonous to love because they don't see how their mistakes are hurting those who love them. This is someone who violated you in a very big way due to a lack of disrespect many of you have to walk away. For some of you, this is someone who violated you due to disrespect, a lack of honesty. Many of you were turned off by the fact that they couldn't step up and follow their heart. Someone violated this connection by not following their heart, but now that you have walked away, they're wanting to make a U-turn. But due to the lack of respect, Someone won't be able to escape the nightmare they created because there's no trust. And without trust, it's game over. It's game over when it comes to the lack of trust within a situation. Someone is living a nightmare due to the fact that they are toxic. I feel loving this energy Due to their mistakes and toxic, selfish ways, there is no escape for someone who feels they can finesse their way out of anything. But due to the lack of respect and honesty, dealing with them is just a danger, a hazard, 
because it's all about material things, sex, sin, mistakes. Someone makes something very hard to forgive. Yet this is someone who is hoping that you haven't given up. I feel like it's not that you have given up. It's the fact that you just won't give in. This is someone who misses you, but it always feels like a scam. It always feels like a scam because dealing with them, it always seems like they're on a mission of revenge because either they're hurting you, hurting self, or someone else. Many of you are just tired of the game. This is someone who wants to return, but many of you feel like they're toxic. And the fact that they walk away or you walk away, some things just need to be what it is. And for some of you, this energy is really upset at the fact that you found the courage to walk away. I feel for many of you, you were turned off by the fact that this is someone who was selfish enough to violate you over and over again. Especially when you tried to sacrifice self, compromise, show how much you care to love this energy, yet this energy disappointed you every time. As it seems, the more you tried, the more they found a way to disappoint you. Let's get some energy here. Well, we have a couple of cards here. So, I feel when it comes to this energy, space was needed. Whether you knew it or not, this is someone who was just not ready for what you presented, what you offered. Hmm. Now someone is thinking if only they knew what they know now, that you are not a doormat. But this is someone who is not seeing the truth when it comes to the signs. Someone left something to mystery. This is someone who is all in their imagination about sending some type of message, whether that be subconsciously or in the 3D. Someone is still not seeing the fact that they're avoiding the truth, blocking something. They're ignoring something when it comes to communicating with you. Um, this is someone who is ignoring or avoiding something because they don't want to put both feet in. Someone doesn't want to put both feet in when it comes to an apology. Call it a truce. It seems like it's a mixed bag when it comes to someone who has yet to reach out or even communicate. I feel something is very complicated when it comes to this energy who is unstable when it comes to an entanglement hmm. as well as their insecurities. This is someone who is embarrassed that something is ungrounded, unfocused, unstable, tied up. Someone feels like something is stuck in their weighed down by it. Something is a burden because they failed to break the chain when it comes to something that was left on in the air, their insecurities, or the fact that they suppress what they feel. This is someone who has trapped themselves by suppressing their potential. This is someone who is unwilling, reluctant, when it comes to the possibilities of change, <laughs> transformation a new chapter or a rebirth. This is why they're going through an ego death when it comes to structure and discipline. This is someone who needs to change when it comes to their ways. And for many of you, things are very unstable when it comes to their insecurities or even those around them. Someone has left something to mystery. So they've been avoiding you and avoiding a lot of things that could help them heal. Let's get some more energy here. I feel something is a mixed bag when it comes to this energy because they're very uncomfortable with being vulnerable. This is someone who wants to reach out but has yet to reach out and communicate, send some type of message and speak on what they know is true. So they allow something to be left to mystery, unknown energy. Someone allowed you to wonder about something when they should have just spoken the truth. Yet this energy allowed you to question things. But they never thought that you would find your way to the truth. And whether you know a lot or a little, you know enough to not be their fool. Hmm. Someone is giving you the cold shoulder. 
because they don't want to be vulnerable. As I said before, this is someone who knows it'll be hard to seek forgiveness. Even if you have already forgiven, someone is still giving you the cold shoulder because they have yet to step into a sense of self-love. This is why things are complicated than it, more complicated than it needs to be. And another reason why someone is yet to put both feet in when it comes to a connection, a commitment, investments, all because of their insecurities or an inner knowing. Someone is just not ready. Someone is just not prepared when it comes to being genuine, authentic, sincere when it comes to being self or even giving an apology. This is someone who has a fixed vision when it comes to standards, clarity. And in so many ways, they don't really know how or which path to take to prepare themselves. This is someone who really doesn't know that they're at a crossroads when it comes to being themselves, bringing in clarity, or even having this fixed vision when it comes to grounding themselves and even those who are innocent. Those who are hurt in this situation who had no, nothing to do with any of this, someone still not being clear or genuine about what's going on or their part in it. And this is why there is no resolve. Someone doesn't know what path to take when it comes to closure or even acceptance. So they found a way to be content, fulfilled in the confusion. In some ways, this energy is still rebellious because they feel like they can pretend something was a misunderstanding when it comes to a message that got all jumbled up. Hmm. But someone is still not grounding themselves, and this is why something is melting away. There's too much tension, there's too much stress attached to this, and that's why there's no peace. Wow. There's no peace, there's no balance, there's no tranquility. I feel this is someone who is just about ego, and this is why they're avoiding things. But I feel something's about to take place that causes them to step into a space of structure and discipline. But I feel many of you are cautious. You're on guard when it comes to someone who is on the defense. You're reserved because you know they're lacking when it comes to wisdom. They're not grounded. And whatever you do, you know it won't be enough. This is why something is melting away. You've been gentle with their ego and now something is just gonna have to be learned the hard way. I feel something is moving slowly, but it's all because this energy is just not ready. This energy is not ready to surrender, release, trust, and let go when it comes to a soulmate, a spiritual connection, a close bond, a kindred spirit. There's too much tension and not enough peace. There's too much tension and not enough loyalty and respect where someone should be growing into a space of wisdom, but this is someone who is just not ready. They're still confused, rebellious, and this is why many of you are just cautious, wondering why, possibly even waiting, but I feel many of you are just over it and ready for them to make a move or just move on. Many of you are stepping into a season where you're ready to step into a new. You're also ready to forgive those who are ready to step into forgiveness. But I feel for this energy, they still have some ways to go. But I feel many of you have an inner knowing when it comes to this. And you're already following your heart. You've already learned a lesson, wisdom. You've already learned lessons when it comes to this energy. There's discernment when it comes to you, and this is why you're stepping into to new life, new adventures. Hmm. You're about to break the routine. I feel this separation was almost like a blessing in disguise. I say this because it caused a lot of pain. It caused a lot of confusion. It caused a lot of tension when there should have been trust. And I sense up until now, this energy never really noticed or even understood how much you meant to them or how much you did for them until you were no longer there to accept, 
help or compromise. Because now that you're trying to get yourself together or you're moving in a different direction, this energy is trying to understand this different version of you. Because deep down, they're starting to regret this different version that they're telling everyone. This is someone who is in regret for telling a different version of what truly happened, what truly took place. Yet I sense their disregard and avoidance of the truth has allowed something to just go on too long or just go too far. This is why something is at a distance and someone is failing to communicate or go deeper. And they just might become something of the past because they are failing to make something right or even step up and make amends with you. Wow. Well, someone feels like they can entice you with something, lure you in, but I feel someone doesn't know that you've changed, found a way to forgive, or found a way to move on. Someone, wow, someone is stuck in a space where you're dealing with new opportunities. I see second chances coming your way while someone is knowing the fact that they screwed you over and something could remain unfinished business. Yet in so many ways, they just might have their fingers crossed. This is someone who has their fingers crossed, even though they know they screwed you over, but this unfinished business of making amends and this separation is definitely starting to get to them. This is someone who is puzzled by the fact that you're not asking questions. They're infatuated. Mm. Wow, someone is still not seeing something when it comes to the confusion they created. They're still sitting in a space of enchantment, lust, still pursuing things that they're not still clear about. But I feel something significant when it comes to this connection is about to take place. Um, Something significant when it comes to the connection of someone chasing a thrill. Someone didn't see things changing because they were stuck in their ways or they didn't see this situation coming to a space of stillness. But now they see or they will soon see that something about their secrets or their silence has made something significant mm. due to their lack of growth or nourishment of self they've created all of these obstacles and challenges things they have yet to overcome hmm. someone's stuck in limbo so due to their obstacles someone is stuck in limbo they can't move on someone can't move on because they're going through an awakening someone is going through an awakening because of what they're holding on to. Without releasing what they're holding on to, there's no peace. Only a state of animosity, resentment, someone holding a grudge. Holding a grudge because they can't have what they long for. Whether that is with you or just in general in life, someone is just not getting what they want. So they lash out. They do a lot of things to fill the void, but nothing is filling the energy. They're just on a relentless chase where they're never satisfied. Burning bridges, cutting ties, through betrayal. Now someone is about to rule. Realize in the worst way there is truly no escape. There's no escape. Even with their fingers crossed, someone's gonna have to deal with the crime. As I sense the issues they created requires them to Stand in their truth, and that's not something they're mentally or spiritually ready to do. I get it. Final message here. This is someone who is withdrawn when it comes to their energy, even unpredictable at times, as this is someone who feels you're out of their league or you're out of their reach. They're debating about being vulnerable to this commitment, this connection. A vow. Hmm. 
someone has their fingers crossed when it comes to manifesting, but I feel something unexpected is taking place when it comes to something that is connected to their vibration, their energy. This is someone who is still wearing a mask, yet still trying to find middle ground when it comes to their reputation. So for many of you, this is someone who is really worried about what others think of them. They're worried about their stability, their security, family, there's no trial. This is someone who knows it's all falling apart. They're just not doing anything to help a change. This is someone who knows that they're hopelessly sinking because something that is unspoken is, is affecting their stability, their security, their reputation, their status, their character. Because someone failed to cleanse something, it's affecting their vibration. I feel there's something unspoken when it comes to this energy. Many of you are lost to words or you're tired of trying to understand this energy because they're elusive. And still attached to some very dark things, influences, third parties, and I feel something or someone could be swaying their energy, their impact, their thoughts. I feel this is someone who is elusive because they're ashamed. Ashamed and still not trying to acknowledge some things, and this is why some things have yet to be spoken. However, I feel them not being truthful with self or even you is causing a shift. Not just with their reputation and stability, I feel there's some type of ripple effect. As I said before, this is someone who is stuck in limbo, and due to their karmic debts and consequences, they're going through a lot of pain, grief, and loss. This is someone who sits in guilt, but they will never tell me this. They're trying to figure some things out. They're trying to figure out how to cleanse their energy and get things back to the way it used to be. I feel they're going to have to lose a lot of things. And I feel they're in a space right now where things are un unraveling. I feel there needs to be a confession when it comes to this energy to justify some things that has been done or hasn't done. But they're going to have to come with their whole heart to do so. Because if they don't, they will continue to be invisible to you as is someone who knows they didn't take the time to love you in the right way because of the things they failed to change or make right. They went too far with something and due to their lack of intuition and growth, they won't have their way because they won't be able to hide their truth or their energy. As I sense, their energy won't lie. Yet I sense, they do. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.